today's learning intention is inverse functions. The National Five Essential Skills are changing the subject of the formula and reflecting graphs. Inverse functions. The idea of an inverse function is to reverse the effect of the original function. It is the opposite function. You should already be familiar with this idea. For example, doubling a number can be reversed by halving the result. That is, multiplying by 2 and dividing by 2 are inverse functions. The inverse of the function f is denoted by f with a little power of minus 1, and you read that as f inverse. Please note that if we have two functions f and g, they are said to be inverses if f of g of x or g of f of x gives an answer of x. So if you put one function into another and you get an answer of x, these functions are inverse functions. So to find the equation of an inverse, we'll look at some examples. So here in example one, we've been given f of x is 4x plus 2, and we have to find f inverse. The first thing we do is we state the function with y instead of fx. All we do now is we change the subject of the formula to x. So firstly, we're going to move the plus 2 over beside the y and take it off, change the side and change the sign. So y minus 2 equals 4x. We then have to move the 4 over, change the side, change what we are doing. We're then going to divide by 4. Therefore, x is y minus 2 over 4. We are almost finished. Last step is we change x to f inverse and y in the right hand side becomes x. So our inverse function is x minus 2 over 4. Example 2. If g of x is x squared, we need to find g inverse. Firstly, we'll place gx with y, so y equals x squared, and we need to change the subject of the formula to x. So the opposite of squaring would be to take the square root. Therefore, we can rewrite the function as x equals square root of y. Once you have x the subject, we then change x to g inverse and the y becomes an x. So g inverse equals square root x. Graphs of inverse functions. If we have the graph of a function, we can find the graph of its inverse by reflecting in the line y equals x. For example, below is the graphs of two functions and their inverses. On the left hand side, we have the graph of fx, and we can see it's been reflected over in the line y equals x, which is the dotted line, and we have then the graph of its inverse, f inverse. Similarly, on the right hand side, we have the graph of g of x. Drawing in our dotted line y equals x, we can then reflect it over and we get the graph of g inverse. Example 1. Match the graph of the function to the graph of its inverse. The first thing you should do when answering this question is draw in your line of y equals x. This will help you identify what will happen when you reflect the line over? And the answer here is C. Example two, again, we need to match the graph of the function to its inverse graph. Firstly, we need to draw in the line of y equals x. And having a look and comparing with a, b, c, d, we can see again the answer is C. Now try this example on your own. Please pause the video.
and the answer. F inverse is the cube root of x minus 1. Please self-assess your progress. And if you'd like some extra practice, turn to page 28, exercise 2D, or 29, exercise 2F. So what have we learned today? Today we've looked at inverse functions. And if we want to find a formula for the inverse function, we replace f of x with y. We then change the subject of the formula to x. We interchange x and y and finally replace y with f inverse to obtain the formula for the inverse function.